guys, uh, some of you guys don't know about this story. Some of you guys have been following it since the very beginning. Um, right now I'm a little bit frustrated, and, 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 and it'll probably come out. I might stutter a little bit, whatever. Uh, but right now I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kind of, you know, not feeling it, not feeling the love. Uh, why, what are we doing wrong? We need some feedback. What are we doing wrong that nobody cares about this story? What, is it in our presentation? Is it is it just that people don't care? Because when I watch the news at night, I see stories of a lot less significance making national headlines. You know, nobody knows that an entire sheriff's department has been condemned by its own citizens. Nobody knows that a sheriff went to jail for lying in my case or that there's a deputy in prison right now for beating me up, for lying about it. He admitted that he lied in my case. He admitted that he lied to, lied to investigators, and he admitted that other deputies lied in their investigators, lied to the investigators. Um, so so I, I just need a little bit of feedback um, so we can we, we can do whatever we need to do to present this story in a more, a more um, uh, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for right now, in a, in, in a way that people care. Because right now I just feel like people don't care, and if people don't care, then we we we, we really need to to start um, um, conserving our resources and our energy and our efforts. Because they, we don't, you know, we're we're sharing this this in the grand jury presentment. It's like nobody cares. We're not even getting shares. We're not getting comments. Nothing. There's no proactivity. So the only thing I can say is either people don't care or we're presenting it wrong. Um, so we really need some feedback and some input from you guys, and it really would be appreciated. Uh, I'm Dustin Heathman. I'm, I'm signing off. I'm doing a live sentence right now. I'm fighting my appeal, and um, I, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, you guys tell us what's on your mind. Tell us where we're going wrong. Thanks a lot. Okay. I just wanted to add this, that uh, this story is bigger than Ferguson. It's bigger than Baltimore. It's bigger than New York. And the reason why it's bigger is because in those those stories, those cases, um, it usually amounted to officers, uh, several officers, uh, what they'd like to paint as a story of a few bad apples. In this case, in this case, it was a story of, of an entire agency, and, and this doesn't have to be proven. This is this is this is the presentment of a grand jury. This is the sheriff himself getting indicted and arrested and booked into his own jail. This is the story of, of the entire upper echelon of a, of a sheriff's department of a mid-sized Florida town. I mean, there's there's over 300,000 people in Marion County. And, um, you know, this is the case of an entire agency. So it's been condemned by its own people, by the way. So um, there's... There's really no reason why this shouldn't be national news, um, nor is there any reason that, that I should still be in prison. Um, so, again, we'd be really, really thankful and grateful and appreciative if, if anybody could give us some some, uh, some pointers as to what, what we're doing wrong and why the, why this why nobody seems to care, despite you know two and a half years of putting this story out there. 